Hey guys, Ms. Gonzalez here again. I am working on page 164 and 165 in your art book. Um, and the title of the assignment is called Analyze a Model Informative Essay. Um, we have done this before. Um, we're gonna take an informational essay and we're gonna use our tied strategy to um, determine the thesis, the idea, the details, and the ending. So it says to read the student model to analyze the elements of an informative essay. So this is an essay that was written by a student and we're gonna find all the parts. It says choose two characters from either the lottery or the Hunger Games or one character from each and write an essay analyzing the characters' attitudes about their their community's annual traditions. So I'm gonna go ahead and read this for you um, because I do know that some of you guys have this accommodation. Um, if you do not need to be read to, you can go ahead and skip along and then join us for the rest of the video. Um, it says, Blind Obedience to the Power of Fear by Judith Bauer Stamper. The Hunger Games is set in a dystopian society that controls its citizens by the power of fear. Two characters in the story represent the values and traditions of Pan Am. The mayor and Effie Trinket blindly enforce their society's rituals, never questioning the injustice, injustice and cruelty of Pan Am's traditions. The mayor is a mouthpiece for the values of this dystopian society. For example, he addresses the citizens of District 12 like a game show host. He tells the story. Um, I'm sorry, I lost my spot. He tells the story of Pan Am and the reason for the Hunger Games. He also seems to have no feelings at all. But this message is clear. Look how we take your children and sacrifice them and there's nothing you can do. The mayor describes the Hunger Games like any sports competition. He ignores the fact that Reaping Day is like a death sentence for two of the young people in front of him. Effie Trinket also represents the values of Panem's and Panem and its rituals. Her last name, Trinket, describes her perfectly. She is like a flashy ornament of little value. For instance, when she trots up to the podium, her first words are Happy Hunger Games. She is fake through and through. Effie ignores the terrified families in front of her and rattles on about the drawing. Effie never drops her falsely cheery attitude. She can't allow herself to feel human emotions because that's what she is doing to that what she is doing is too terrible to admit. In conclusion, the characters uh, of the mayor and Effie Trinket are important to the story because they symbolize the injustice and cruelty of their society. They have given up their humanity and are blindly obedient to the power of fear. So again, um, the writing prompt asks you to pick two characters and to write an essay analyzing their attitude towards the traditions. Now you can choose to write about the Hunger Games or you can choose to write about the lottery. Um, or you could choose to have one character from each. Um, so we're gonna move on, but we're gonna flip back here in a few minutes. Um, it wants us to mark the following elements of an informative essay and use the frames to discuss them with your partner. Okay, so it's um, in the green. They're briefly giving you a definition of what is expected. It says the thesis statement identifies the topic of the essay. It previews what the writer will discuss. It addresses the prompt. So again, in layman terms, the thesis is basically what your passage is going to be about. So we're gonna put a T next to the thesis statement. And is this thesis statement effective? So the thesis is usually found in the first paragraph and it's usually the very last sentence of the passage. Well, we've already read the passage so we know what it is about. We know what our writing prompt is and we're going to look at that and we're going to see is this, the, is this thesis correct? 
so if I look at the last sentence, it says the mayor and Effie Trinket blindly enforce their society's rituals, never questioning the injustice and cruelty of Pan Am's traditions. So I would say this is the thesis because that is what, what Judith chose to write about. So I'm going to label that with a T. Okay. And then I'm going to come back here and I have a question that says this thesis statement is effective because it what identifies describes or introduces and I'm gonna say introduces two characters it introduces the mayor and Effie and how they go along with the traditions okay um, the thesis statement is effective because it introduces two characters um, which is um, the mayor and Effie Trinket and who go along with society who go along with um, I guess with the traditions of Pan Am ran out of space okay um, and so the next part um, is I which is the idea and each supporting paragraph contains a topic sentence that states the paragraph's central idea. So central idea is a lot like the key idea um, or the main idea, but it, central idea, when they say central idea, it is specific to informative um, text. So because um, this was, is an informative essay, they chose the word central idea. Um, so for that one, the central idea um, or topic is usually found in the first sentence of each paragraph because it has to kind of introduce what they're going to talk about and then give you the details that talk about it. So if I look here, go back to my passage, I'm going to label the ideas. Um, the mayor is a mouthpiece for the values of this dystopian society. Uh, for example, he addresses the citizens of District 12 like a game show host. I think um, that is because the, I, I'm sorry, that is the idea because it's going to go on to give you details about why they feel um, that he is a mouthpiece for the values. So I'm going to label that with an I here. And then the next paragraph talks about Effie. Effie Trinket also represents the values of Pan Ams and its rituals. Her last name, Trinket, describes her perfectly. So this is also the idea here. And so we're going to flip back to our um, page 165, sorry. And now we're going to say why we chose this. So it says, put an eye next to the central idea of each paragraph. What information do these central ideas provide to support the thesis? The central ideas in the paragraph give more information about how, um, sorry, it says to choose how, why, or who. Um, I'm going to choose um, how basically both of them are um representing the values of pan am um so i'm going to circle how both the mayor and effie represent the values of and M. Okay. And then 
the D, which is details. A detail is a sentence that provides facts, details, and quotations that support the central idea. I've given you the central idea for both of them. Now you're going to go back and you're going to find details that support each one. And I'm going to need for you to have two details here and two details here. So I'm going to go ahead and write um, a D for one of the details that supports this. This one's talking about how the mayor represents the values. What's a detail that support that? I would say he also seems to have no feelings at all, but this message is clear. Look how we take your children and sacrifice them. So that's a detail. You're going to find one more detail here, and you're going to find two more details here. Okay? And I'm going to leave you to write why those detail sentences are important. The detail sentences are important because they, and then tell me why they are important. Um, so then we're gonna move on to the ending, which um, an essay ends with a conclusion. The conclusion restates the thesis and central ideas of the essay and it ends with a final thought or insight. Um, your ending or conclusion um, usually ends with your thesis. They basically re-say what they said they were going to talk about. So that's why I chose to write about this kind of stuff. But just they kind of add a little bit more oomph and give you an example. So your job is to find the ending here, which of course it's going to be in the last paragraph. And lucky for you, there's only two sentences. So... Um, you should have no problem getting that one correctly. And then it says, um, after you put the E next to the essay's conclusion, you're going to write, is the conclusion effective? This conclusion is effective because, and you're going to tell me why here. So I'm going to leave you to do um, the detail, the conclusion, and you need to mark one more D detail and you're gonna have to mark two more details in this paragraph and you're gonna have to mark where the ending is in that paragraph so I've left you six little things to do I've done six things for you that's half um, again if you have any questions or you did not understand you can always call email or text me I'm just a phone call away thank you guys